My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we gather this evening for our Eucharistic celebration, we give thanks to God for our first City of Saints conference. I hope that you are. I hope that you are enjoying it. I'm, I, <laughs> I'm having a great time. Maybe we should come back next week. <laughs> well, I wish we could. <laughs> the uh, responsorial psalm of today's mass says it in a beautiful way. Test and see the goodness of the Lord. This weekend, we are feeling the goodness of the Lord. God's love for us and his presence in our lives, our families, and our city. As you may know, in the history of Los Angeles, there are a number of people that are now saints. Blessed Junipero Serra, the founder of California, soon to be Saint Junipero Serra. As you know, Pope Francis is coming on, uh, uh, this September to the United States, and he will uh, uh, canonize Junipero Serra. Then we also have Blessed Maria Ines Teresa Arias, of the Most Blessed Sacrament. She was the founder of the uh, Claritian Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament, and she uh, was originally from Mexico, but when she was here in the 1930s, she uh, felt a special call for the foundation of the, the sisters and she was beatified uh, recently. Then we also have the Venerable Mother Luisita, founder of the uh, Carmelite Sisters of the Sacred Heart of Los Angeles. I think we have uh, some of the sisters here with us. Yeah. So, uh, So, Los Angeles is being a city of saints. And there are some more in, uh, that uh, uh, started the process of canonization, and uh, obviously many more that are unknown, but have, have kept and transmitted the faith to all of us. In a sense, as I said, we are already a city of saints. But as we have reflected this weekend, now it is up to us to continue making our city and our world a city of saints. In today's readings, we hear about some of the basic things that we are supposed to do in order to try to be a saint. First, faith. As simple as that. Then try to be imitators of God. And then to love one another. We also hear about the food that we need for our journey. Jesus, who is the bread of life. And as we know, we have him in the Eucharist. We heard those beautiful words tonight in our second reading from St. Paul. He said, so, be imitators of God as beloved children, and live in love as Christ loved us. My dear brothers and sisters, that's, that is what it means to be a saint. That's the definition. A saint is someone who is trying to be an imitator of God. A saint tries to live like Jesus. That kind of sounds crazy, right? How can, be, can, how can anybody imitate God? How can anyone possibly do that? But my dear brothers and sisters, that's the, the beautiful thing. 
you can do that and I can do that. As we have heard so many times this weekend. Now, of course, we are going to need help if we really want to be saints. We cannot do it by ourselves. So that's why Jesus created the Catholic Church to be our family, the family of God. He gives each of us a home in the church when we are baptized so that we will have brothers and sisters who can accompany us and spiritual fathers or priests who can guide us and support us on our mission to be saints. And in the church, Jesus also gives us the word of God, sacred scripture, the gospels, and the sacraments, and especially the Eucharist, to be our food, to nourish us and strengthen us in our lives. The Eucharist is the food that God gives us for the journey of life, the bread that we need to strengthen us for our mission of becoming saints and making this world a city of saints. In the gospel passage that we heard tonight, Jesus tells us, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. So Jesus gives us his body and blood to be our food, to be our life then we can try to be imitators of God. What a beautiful mystery. It's awesome. Jesus, who is really present and close to us. So we need to keep reflecting on this beautiful mystery. We need to ask for the grace to increase our faith and hope in the Eucharist. When I think of my own uh, life in trying to be a good Christian, a good Catholic, a good priest, and now a good archbishop, I have to say that everything started with trying to receive Holy Communion every day and trying to make the Eucharist the center of my prayer life. I was sharing with some of you this evening that um, I uh, started thinking of going to daily mass and, and started thinking of my vocation to the priesthood when I saw my father going to daily mass. That was amazing. I mean, he was, as we as a family, we went to church every Sunday. But then one day, because some circumstances in the life of my family, my father started going to daily mass. And that really called my attention. That's what I started thinking. Mm, the Eucharist is important. And besides that, I have to share with you the whole truth. Uh, I was probably 15, 16, maybe. And the only way that my dad allowed me to drive his car was when I said, I'm going to Mass. <laughs> so I went every day. That was an easy decision, wasn't it? But it really changed my life. I'm still working on it. But believe me, it makes a huge difference in our lives. And I'm sure that every one of you, especially my brother priest, can tell you the same. Jesus in the Eucharist is the one that makes the difference in our lives. So, let us take with us the beautiful experience of today's exposition and benediction with the Blessed Sacrament. Wasn't it beautiful? Life-changing. And let us pray that each one of us will grow deeper 
in our Lord for Jesus in the Eucharist. And when we receive Jesus in Holy Communion tonight and every time, let us talk to him heart to heart. He's with us, inside of us, the creator of the universe, all beauty, all perfection. He's with me. Wow. We can tell him that we want to be saints, that we want to be more like him, imitators of God. Let us tell Jesus that we want to follow him more closely, that we want to do God's will and be missionary disciples. Because, my dear brothers and sisters, our life has a mission. It is a beautiful mission for each one of us. And it involves all of us working together, working to make our lives more beautiful, more like Jesus, and working to make our world more, more like the kingdom of God, God wants it to be. What a beautiful, exciting mission we have. So let us go with God and work together to be saints and to make this city a city of saints. And may our blessed Mother Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, always accompany all of us, each one of you, and watch over you that we all, that each one of you, always keep close to Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.